Welcome to this GMAT video. Uh, my name is Kevin. I'm here from Magooch. And we're working on a math challenge question that was actually on our blog recently. Um, that's our Magooch GMAT blog. And you might have seen it. If you have not, you can go and check it out. It will be below this video. You can go and click on the link. Uh, you might want to uh, hit pause right now and go and try to solve the problem. Or just hit pause and you can see everything that you need right here and try to solve it. So, I'll give you a moment to do that. Okay, are you done? All done? Did you choose an answer? Great. So, um, this is a great question for a couple of reasons. One, it involves the perimeter of a funny shape, and I always enjoy problems like this. Um, the first thing I like to do when I get into a math problem is just figure out what am I being asked to do and what have they given me. So. They're asking me about the perimeter of A, B, C, D, E. So A, B, C, D, E. And of course, this part as well, because it's an enclosed shape. And if you're going to get the perimeter or something, it has to be an enclosed shape. Um, also, I see I've got some lengths here, 12, 12, and 12. I know the degree measure of these angles here. That seems pretty useful. Um, and then I'm going to go look at my answer choices and see what do the answer choices tell me. Well, I can see already I have two answer choices right here that are just whole numbers. Then I have three answer choices that have a radical three in them. And this is good to make note of. Just make note of the information. Sometimes the answer choices will give you useful information for solving. Sometimes they'll just be distractors. So either way, we're going to end up with radical three, um, in the answer or not at all. Um, seeing this 30 degrees and seeing kind of like a triangle, I might think, oh, there might be a 30, 60, 90 triangle in here that I need to use to solve the problem. But this might be a distractor. So let's just dive in and look at the problem and try and solve it. So what we can see is that this is basically a square. I can add a line here. And I know the length of this line of AD is going to be the same as BC. So that means this is going to be 12. Once I've drawn this line, just like this is 90 degrees, this 2 will be 90 degrees, and that will be 90 degrees. Once I've done that, I can figure out what this angle, or excuse me, what the length of this side is, and I can figure out what the angle is right here. So 90 minus 30 is 60. This is going to be 60 as well. And if this is 60 and that's 60, I know a triangle has 180 degrees in it, which leaves 60 here. Wow, what do I have now? I have an equilateral triangle. Hopefully, you guys know all about an equilateral triangle. It has equal angles, all equaling 60. And the sides are all equal as well. So coming back over here, I now know that the length of this side and this side is equal to this side. So this is 12, and this is 12. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 12s. 5 times 12 is 60, and that will be our answer. So a couple takeaways here. One, the GMAT always, always rewards students who feel comfortable with these special triangles, with equilateral triangles, 30, 60, 90 triangles. Also, another takeaway is that the answer choices might be misleading. Um, you might come in here, like I was saying, see the radical 3 and think immediately 30, 60, 90. Um, and that is actually being set as a trap for us. Um, so know, know your triangles, know your squares. Um, and don't be distracted by the answer choices. Go in there, see what's there, but don't let it dissuade you from approaching the problem the way that you feel most comfortable. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, head on over to gmat.magoosh.com. We have some practice problems there for you. Um, you can try out your math knowledge or your verbal knowledge there. Um, and if you have any questions about what we did here, leave some comments down below, and I will answer them. Be excellent, and I'll talk to you soon.